Did you see what happened at the UN today? This is the Americans, the American delegation that was representing us at the UN today, getting up, taking off their translator earpiece thingies, and walking out in the middle of the speech by the president of Iran. You can, at one point, you can see they actually sort of do a little... A little, a little awkward turn in their walkout so they can be sure everybody sees them storming out. They don't want to go out the back of the room. They don't want to go out a side door near their seats. They want to, as ostentatiously as possible, walk out in a way that everybody can see them on the Iranian president. And then everybody else starts walking out, too. Canada's guys walked out. Uh, uh, New Zealand, Australia, Costa Rica, the European Union, the U.N. representatives from 27 countries in Europe, all pied pipered out behind the Americans while Iran's president, while Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, kept talking from the little step stool they presumably put up behind the podium for him. They all walked out when his speech got to the 9-11 truther part, when he started to say how most of the world knows that 9-11 was an inside job by the U.S. government. You know, a lot of times diplomacy is so subtle, international relations turn on, you know, whether your guy's dinner at the White House is a state dinner or, or something that's not technically a state dinner, but that totally looks like a state dinner anyway. You know, who bows to who and how deeply and what you're wearing when you did it. It's all these, these minor subtle points of protocol, these imperceptible slights uh, and, and flattery. Except when it's not. Except when people just get up and storm out right in front of you because you are freaking nuts and offensive, which was what happened today at the U.N. And it was as satisfying as it was blunt. For all the drama today of walking out on little Mahmoud, what got less coverage was something almost as blunt and almost as satisfying, but without the dramatic visuals. Four years ago, our frenemies in Russia um, said they were going to sell Iran nearly a billion dollars worth of missiles missiles, anti-aircraft missiles that Iran said it wanted to use to defend its nuclear facilities. There's a ban on anything high-tech at all being sold to Iran, and Russia wants to give them this huge state-of-the-art advanced missile system. Not helpful, right? The decision happened during the Bush administration in 2006, and ever since then, Russia has been hemming and hawing about whether or not it's really going to do it, whether or not it's really going to go ahead with selling Iran these missiles. Well, last night, the U.S. announced that President Obama secured a clear, unequivocal agreement from Russia's president that definitively those missiles are not going to Iran. Medvedev said it in public. Obama got him to call off the deal. No missiles for Iran. Not exactly as visual as throwing down the earpieces and storming out while little Mahmoud pounds the table about Zionism, whatever. But any truly substantive insult to that little Holocaust-denying 9-11 truth or tyrannical creep is deeply satisfying.